In the last one week, the African Center of Excellence for Genomics of Infectious Diseases has received not less than 12 samples of COVID-19 for diagnosis from the reported cases in Nigeria. The multi-billion dollar center, which is the only facility in West Africa with first-class equipment, is able to understand, apart from diagnosis, the structure of COVID-19, as was also used to confirm Ebola outbreak in 2014 in Nigeria. These machines have helped sequence the first coronavirus in Africa, and that was from the first Nigerian patient, or the first patient in Nigeria. You know, and we did that in 48 hours. And just the only reason why we could do it in 48 hours because we have the skills, we have the technologies, we have the know-how to do this. We, we did that uh, so quickly. China couldn't do it. Europe couldn't do it. Even the U.S. couldn't do it. At least we demonstrated to the world that we could actually just sequence a whole virus in 48 hours. And that becomes very important because understanding you know, the, the genetic nature of the virus enables you to see what the virus looks like. It enables you to understand you know, how the virus is transmitted from one person to the other. It also gives you an idea over time to see if the virus is mutating, if the virus is becoming more infectious, then at least with that, we can develop the right type of countermeasures. And the kind of temp countermeasures that we're talking about are developing new diagnostics, new therapies, and then new vaccines. Apart from the index case, which was confirmed positive by the center after it was detected in Lagos, other samples received to date have been negative. We just had a meeting and to reinforce all our system, the safety measure. So even if we keep having samples coming in in tens, twenties, we are set for it. In the meantime, apart from precautionary measures to prevent the spread of COVID-19, Osho State Government has banned all public gatherings with 50 people or more, which has resulted in closing down of all public schools, including tertiary institutions in the state. We are quite aware of how serious this is, and the governor has said that we will treat it with all the seriousness that it requires. In Oshogo, Shagulawale, NT News.